Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another video. I'm joined by nipples. <laughs> you are. Guess who? <laughs> How to train your nipples. <laughs> I got a gav. Hi, <laughs> thanks for having me. It's thanks so nice me. to be on your channel. After a year and a half, I think it's been. Other than live shows. Other than live shows. In Rean Sprints. Like, it's been yeah. a year and a half since the last time you had me yeah. in your boudoir. Yeah, and you were only in vlogs then. I don't think we... Yeah, done this, the this is the first time we've actually, like, filmed. A proper video other than... Other I, video. I played your TBR Pursuit last month. Uh, that was yeah, on my yeah, channel. That was, yeah. yeah. Well, welcome. Thanks. I'm so excited. Like, genuinely, actually, no, I'm not excited at all. No, Gavin's no. going to be raiding my shelves. Raiding. He's just put me through the ringer with um, mm -hmm. answering 30 timed questions on mm -hmm. his channel so go see that if you haven't watch me panic um but being in my library surrounded my by my books my territory mm -hmm. i'm gonna make this all about me course, <laughs> and i have a bunch of questions just in my noggin because i'm not as planned as people may think um so a bunch of questions in my noggin about me my reading my library my shelves my books and Gavin's gonna tear the shelves apart to find the answers. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be so hard because I don't even subscribe to you, so I'm just like, <laughs> no, I, I think I may do okay. Um, the only thing is I won't be able to describe any books, but I might be able to find them. I think you'll be alright. I think I'll be alright too. Um, but the funny thing about this, I think mostly, is just that you're not gonna squat the whole time, so stand up. This is what you're gonna be looking at. <laughs> yes. So I want to be doing my exercises in this video. Because I'm probably going to stand out of the way. Yeah. So it's just so going to be this. just got nipples. <laughs> oh my god. I could have worn a more flattering shirt at least. Oh my lord. Oh, Your nipples look great. <laughs> <laughs> at least my bum looks good still. <laughs> in your PJ bottoms. In my PJ yeah. bottoms. That is what's happening here. I'm really sorry if it's out of focus entirely. I haven't got my glasses on and I'm not normally this far away from the camera when I film. Do I need to say anything else in terms of an introduction to that? No, I think... Uh, Let's see if Gavin's a terrible friend. How yeah. well oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How well does he pay attention to what I think of books? This will make the rest of my stay here awkward, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, so make sure you subscribe for the vlogs. <laughs> oh, absolutely. To say Jade kick me out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. I feel like I don't also, like the angle here. Also, can okay. I just say I don't know where anything is as well because, I mean... It's alphabetical. It's alphabetical by surname, but I just feel like... Exclusive, you heard it here first. Gavin doesn't know his ABCs. <laughs> I don't need to know my ABCs. I'm good looking, okay? I'm beautiful. Okay. I just need to marry rich. That's all I need to do. I don't need to know my ABCs. And, no, drink of courage. You had? Did you have drink of courage, I drink of have, energy? I had a drink of energy fuel. This is energy fuel for me, okay? Energy fuel means the same thing. It is, it does, it does, okay. 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 First up, I want you to find a book that you gifted me. Oh, um, okay, I, I gifted you. I've gifted you everything. I gifted you. Hey. <laughs> these. Oh, it's out of focus. Oh. <laughs> I gifted you these. The Edge Chronicles. Oh, my knees. I'll just go on my knees. I'm good. I'm good on my knees. I gifted J.D. Ray Reads these. The Edge Chronicles by Paul Stewart and Chris Waddell. It is essentially, in my opinion, like Game of Thrones for kids. Um, because it's like an epic, fantastical world that follows many different stories, many different plot points. Um, but in the first trilogy, which is what we start off with, we follow Twig, who um, is born with trolls, but he's not a troll. And he has to find his way, when he's a bit older, through the deep woods, to find out who he is. But he does what all trolls do not do. He strays from the path. And he comes across all of the dangerous creatures in the, well, uh, the deep woods. So, brilliant series, one of my favourite childhood favourites. And I gifted... Jade, oh, all of these. Oh. And also, a fun fact, these were still in the frickin' wrapping when I came. Still in the wrapping, I gifted them months ago. I was gonna unwrap them when I read them. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, we're off to a good start. Okay, next. Okay, find a book that I gave five stars. Five stars. You know what? Extra, extra points if it's not a middle grade, eh? Also, extra points if it's not Sebastian de Castell or Victoria Schwab. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this one. The uh, Ruin of Kings by oh, Jen Lyons. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, this is actually ridiculous. <laughs> but it kind of looks like the, maybe your hold, shelves hold, are really tall. Hold on. Okay, I'm on my knees and this is... This is, this is better than you standing up. <laughs> it actually is, to be fair. It actually looks a little bit cute, not gonna lie. It's cute. Aww. 
My hair's very greasy, by the way. <laughs> uh, okay, Rowan of Kings by Jen Lyons. I would not really be able to tell you anything about this, other than Jade absolutely loved it, and she... In fact, you gave the second one five stars after, what was it, five chapters or something? Maybe less? Or was it the prologue? It the prologue. Pro like the prologue. And then uh, the, the third book, five stars after the summary alone. <laughs> and then in the fourth book, she's given her five stars and she doesn't even know not about it. So... <laughs> Yeah, um, this series. I don't know anything about it, but I, I do know Jade loves it. I read it for Raidathon, so check out the Raidathon blog. I read it in 19 hours and absolutely loved it. <sighs> I just wonder how you read that in 19 hours. That would take me 19 years. <laughs> Find a book that is personalised to me. Like, signed and personalised. I'm sure this one is. If it's not, I want to kick off. I thought I got all of these personalised for you. What in the world? I'm sure this one is. Did I, did I not get any of them personalised for you? I thought I got them personal. That, that's embarrassing. Oh wait, what about the... Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Hey! hey oh my god, it's because it was um in gold pen. Did I not get the house for chicken eggs signed? No, you didn't. I'm a terrible friend. But anyway. Oh, okay, end of video. Gavin's a terrible friend. We've worked it out. We've worked it out. We already found out. We don't need to film anything else. <laughs> Girl Who Speaks Bear by Sophie Anderson, which follows y Yanka. Oh, it was Marinka in House of Chicken Legs. Is it Yanka in Girl Who Speaks Bear? Yanka in this one, who she was found in a bear cave and raised in a village. And one day, actually, is it a spider if I see she? This one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to uh, reveal what happens, but it does happen quite early on. But she does want to know where she came from and she goes into the frozen forest to discover like her roots. It's kind of a bit like Beyond the Deep Woods, a little bit, where he goes into the deep woods to find out like his family and like all his like family history and his roots, his connections, all of that. And yeah, frozen forest. Love it. But yeah, I got it. Um, personally signed to Jade. Sophie Anderson came to my store and I was like, you know who would really love this book signed and personalised? It would be Jade. Mm -hmm. I know there's a, there is like Sebastian de Castell somewhere. No, I am not really signed You Sebastian. joke at me. He hasn't sent you... Okay, I might be a terrible friend, but he should have sent a personally signed book by now. I'm just saying. Yeah. Everyone tags yeah. Sebastian de Castell in this video. <laughs> Find a book that I have DNF'd. That's hard because you don't DNF all that much. Even you suffer through books, like Wick, like Kingdom I of the Wicked. She suffered through that. that book. There are at least two like close to me right now. Was it this one? Did you no. DNF that one? Nope. That one? Nope. That one? <laughs> that one? Um. Hmm. I know once that you. Didn't... One of them's pretty. Uh, High level. Recent. No, no, no. It's pretty recent. It wasn't it, so it was actually... <laughs> Although to be fair, you have I not mean, yet fair, To be fair. To be fair, she's still got a bookmark in there. That, that counts as a DNF. That does yeah. count as a DNF, but it's not the one you're thinking of though, is it? Well, I never said you had to say the one I was thinking of. I just but said I want to DNF'd. now. I want to. I want to know what it was. I'm trying to remember. Oh my god. Um, and it's one that surprised everyone. I'm sure you told about it on the live show. Yeah. Shit. No. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I knew this. I knew this, okay. How recent are we talking? That was September. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was September. No, I want to say Earthsea because that, that's cheating because you kind of led me to that. Earthsea. <laughs> Jay didn't have this. In fact, all we did because we were doing <laughs> we Le along. We were doing Le Guin along. <laughs> Le Guin along and it just didn't didn't happen. So we were all on to Hanu, the last book in the series. Just didn't have the series. But also... That's so... Oh, that's so... Yeah, barely had anything left. Barely had anything left. Oh my god. Now I know why you're doing after. That's so sad. There is a piece of me that thinks one day I might finish the end of it, but the disappointment's real. That's so sad. Let's all take a moment of silence. Considering how like, excited you loved... I was, and I loved the first three so much. The fact that you pushed the first one so much as well. Yeah. Mm. Well. Yeah, I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, find as many KJM book covers as you can. Oh, frickin' hell. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to get shot in my bum in this one. Carl James Mountford, my favourite illustrator, find as many of his book covers because as possible. As you can. As possible. So I'm, I want to go like in kind of order. Um, so, I mean, I've got these three. So there's three. Um, I feel like I'll probably end up missing one. Uh, four, um, 
I feel like I should know every single one. I've, have I already missed some? Uh, I don't think you have, actually, no. That's good. You know what? I'm actually having second thoughts about these being called James Alfred. Why doesn't it say? <laughs> I should have known. You should have known. I should have known. Um, so I've got these ones. I have, you mainly just like children's books, doesn't he? Like middle grade. I don't think yeah, he's done, he has done teen. He has done a yeah, teen one. Oh, God. Oh. These ones. Uh, I will go that side as well eventually. These ones? I'm not telling you. Why do I, you know, I should know from just looking at it. But you oh. should know from just looking at it. But there's a part. Of... <laughs> so many. You've got a problem, girl. I do. You've got a problem. Any more hints? I mean... I ain't giving you any hints. I'm not telling you. We just told you to collect as many as you can. I gave you so many hints in our video. I swear. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm on this side now. La, 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 la. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably his best. Probably his best ones. Pocket and stubs. You've literally got a tower here. You've got a tower here already. I don't think you've got that many more. Charlie. I thought you were going to miss that one. <laughs> I'm too good for you. I don't know if there's any more. But I think these are all the Carl James Bamford ones. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you have got them all. Oh, oh, that's a really... I mean, I would be very surprised if there was more, but these are actually quite a lot. He he keeps himself busy. And I have really liked all of the ones I've read out of there. Oh my gosh. You do have a type. I will put I those do. back. It's Carl James Malford. I will, yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? Find me a book that you thought I was going to love, and I didn't. You do that on purpose. Mm. There is an obvious one. I want to see if there's there maybe is an, an obvious one. I want to see if maybe there's a more obscure one. Did you say hated or just didn't like? One you thought I was gonna love, love. and I didn't. And you just didn't love it. Okay. There is one I think I, I definitely want, but I want to say first if there was something maybe more obscure, just so I'm keeping you on your toes. As well. Okay. Oh, of course you didn't love this one at all. Oh, put it down. You didn't <laughs> love this one at all, did you? Um. Well, I'm sure there's more, but I will go for the obvious one, actually, because yeah. I, I don't think there is. Because I'm so good at my recommendations. I love how you just moved that out yeah, of the way. Yeah, I, I know what you're going for. Unfortunately, Jade has zero tears. <laughs> and didn't really enjoy Pages and Co. Tilly and the Book Wanderers that much. Um, but yeah, this is about Tilly Pages, who lives with her grandparents in a bookshop called Pages and Co. And Tilly has the power of book wandering, where she can wander into books. But she can also bring book characters out with her. And yeah, it's just a really great magical adventure story that gets better as it goes along okay gets better as it goes along I, okay okay not my cup of tea all right mm -hmm. well at least we're both are kind of great on keeper of the lost cities so yeah <laughs> <laughs> find a book that we both gave five stars both gave five stars there is another obvious one as well i kind of want to say if i can give um maybe not a middle grade one is there a middle grade not non-middle grade that we both gave five can't remember what you gave House in the Serenian Sea. I know you liked it. Can't remember I if liked you... it. I don't think you gave a five. I don't know if we read that many similar adult books. We really don't. I mean, I did give Darker Shade of Magic five stars, actually. I did actually give this one five stars. I know you really enjoy it. Um, well, it's, it's Miss Schwab. It obviously. is Schwab, which is, again, is an obvious one. There is another obvious one, which was middle grade, and that was Frosthawk. Yes. Frosthawk would both give five stars. So this is my middle grade option. This is my adult. Is it young adult adult? It's adult. That's focused. It is my adult pick, and it's been so long since I read it, but I do remember it follows Kel, and there are four different Londons, and Kel has the ability to move through, like, these different Londons. That's it. That's all I remember at this cool. point. Cool. <laughs> but I gave it five stars two years ago, so it, it should still, you know, hold up today. And this one is about Ash, who has magical powers, where he can speak with Leviathans. I can't be asked to recommend this one again. Yeah, I mentioned, <laughs> I say this summary 500 million times a month. Find me a book from the video I did. Read it like Gavin. <laughs> 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 right. Ten Riddles of Earth, the Quick Smith. You also did, I mean, you also did Rainbow Grey, to be fair. I did. Also did Rainbow Grey. Um, you did Darkness of Dragons for my video as well, didn't you? Uh, Patrick. 
I'm sure you did more than this. I did. Two more. Yeah, because you did go up four from my recommended list, and then this one was like a surprise. Yeah. This one was a surprise one. I, I remember I wanted you to read Beyond the Deep Woods, because that was my childhood sorry. favourite. But I uh, sure didn't. Um, I didn't have them at the time. <laughs> oh. No. No. You knew exactly what I was like. No, there, didn't you? You're looking the wrong way, if that helps. To be fair, I said find one, but yeah, find all five. I want to find, <laughs> find all of them, yeah. Why, why am I struggling with the last two? I gave you a list. I should remember what's on that list. Uh, oh, Strange Worlds? Yep. And yep. Um, where's the other one? K. Where's K? It should be right <laughs> next to it. <gasps> That's why I couldn't find it. Uh, there we go. These were all of the books that Jade read in Read It Like Gavin. Send back a bit. Goodness. <laughs> This whole video is going to be out of focus. I apologize. <laughs> uh, these were the books that Jade read in that vlog, which was like her best read it like vlog to date. Can you remember the star rating that I gave each one of those books? Four, 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 four. <laughs> she gave all of them four stars. And I was like, I need you to get a five star, which is why there's going to be a read it like How to Train Your Gavin Part 2 coming. On that basis, can you find me a book that you recommended to me that I gave five stars? Yes, I can. And Mario the Night Brothers, is this one you thinking of? It is exactly and Mario the Night Brothers, I'm sorry if I smell a swear, I need to put on some That's aftershave. They, they can't smell you, it's fine. Do you want to smell me? <laughs> <laughs> and Mario the Night Brothers by Baby Alston, which follows Amari, whose brother Quentin has been missing for a little while, and she ends up finding a suitcase in his room with an invitation for her to go to the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs, where she ends up training to be a junior agent in order to find her missing brother. And Jade, give this one five stars. I did. I loved it. It was great. And all, it, it takes a lot of medium and middle grade five stars. And it I, really does. I think this got 9.14 on Core Pile. That is very specific. I can't remember that. <laughs> I, I do remember it because we talked about it in the Middle Grade Monthly Live show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Impressive. Next question. Pull out an auto by author for me. That is in Schwab and Castell. Oh, yeah. Hey. Well, I'll pick your favourite one out there. Yes. That. Bright Storm by Vashti Hardy. I love Vashti Hardy. Well, Vashti Hardy in general, like, all by the series, of course, um, which there is one more coming out. But, uh, yeah, Vashti Hardy, just I a general... I have read everything that she has published. Even the ones that I haven't read yet. Like, honestly, she just went full steam ahead more than me. So, yeah, uh, we love Vashti. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady and great writer, so imaginative. We love her to bits and definitely an auto by author. Again, this has turned out to be middle grade. <laughs> it has, yeah. Uh, maybe one who's like an adult one then <laughs> as well, just to add to the stakes. Add to the stakes. An adult auto by, yeah, see if you can find one. I uh, know that isn't. That's all Castell yeah. and Schwab. It so. isn't. Oh, I mean, you could go that way, I suppose. I know, but that's just too obvious. Maybe I don't think you do, because I feel like I would have said <laughs> <laughs> I would have said this one, but I genuinely don't think you will buy anything else from this author again. Uh, Sophie Anderson, but that again, that's middle, middle grade. grade. Middle grade. Yeah. Alex Bell. Oh, Alex Bell, because I only just she do middle grade, she also has some adult stuff now, and I believe she has more on the horizon. And you did say... She also does YA horror. Oh, fuck. She does Frozen Charlotte. Which actually has been recommended to me quite a lot. I'm just looking at the books that you've got on your shelf right now. And I'm seeing, like, the authors, just the normal, regular authors. And I'm like, I just don't know if you would just automatically buy it because it's them. Do you want me to just tell you another one? Yes. Maggie Stevo. Really? Oh, yeah, because you've got her newest one there as well. Yep. See, I was looking at the series and stuff to see if you had like new, like really new ones. Okay, next. Find me a book that you think I need to give like the author another chance. Okay. <laughs> but I want to do another one. Oh well. Oh maybe. Oh, can't remember Hargrave because you did like the way past winner, but you didn't love it. But yeah, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Yeah, yeah. but I would, and also Catherine Doyle. Oh yeah, I donated yeah. that one. You donated that one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say Kevin Muller Targary then, and definitely Julie and the Shark, I think. Julie and the Shark okay. is one that you should definitely, definitely read. But yeah, and also this one, because you already own it, so you may as well. I do, yeah. You I might do as well. already own it. But yeah, uh, see what birds and born. This one I remember was like 
almost like a historical Italy, where um, the two kids, I can't remember their names, but their mum was a bone weaver. And she got the bones of, like, you know, family members would have, like, the bones of their lost loved ones and things, and she would make, like, trinkets out of them, like, necklaces and things like that. But then the mum gets arrested, and the two kids get sent to, like, this orphanage thing that's run by a nun, and they have to escape and try and save their mum from being hanged. You ready for a little mania? Oh, no. Go on, then. Find as many parallel fantasies as you can. Fuck! <laughs> uh, and you've got two minutes to do it. Oh, I've got a timer. <laughs> right, well, I'll get, get the timer up. Tell me when to start and I'll start. Go. Okay, I want to start from here. Uh, <laughs> three, I can count the whole series. It's Romanov. It is Russia. But I wouldn't say Paul Fantasy, no, absolutely not. Oh, Sky Song. Uh, oh, would Winterwood count? I think that's wintery. I'm going to count it anyway, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, these. Yes. Oh my god, your shelves. I'm so sorry. This is Gavin raiding my shelves. This is, I am literally pulling these off. All this, I would count as kind of because it does have wintery um, yeah, aspects of it. Uh, oh, uh, Brighten the Pale. Wolf Wilder. I can put these down, can't uh, I? Yeah, you don't need to hold them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put them down. Put them down. Um, I'm probably missing some, but I just kind of want to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably missing loads, but I just kind of want to just focus on getting some some stuff. I guess, well, it did say Malamanda would kind of count, so I guess mm. I'll count that. Actually, a minute no, down. A minute down. you got a minute left. I'm putting that one back, because I, I, okay. I don't count as poor fantasy, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't even, oh, North Child. Oh, I'm going to count them both because, you know, she has that proof and the, <laughs> that one. So I'm counting two. Uh, I don't want to go for really obvious ones, but I guess that. Uh, yeah, I actually don't have that many, to be honest. I do. You're just missing them. <laughs> I wouldn't say that was full of fantasy. I guess that one as well, I guess. Um, Frost Heart. Frost Heart 2. <laughs> <laughs> the, are, we, are these con these are fantasy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I knew it. I was just I was testing you. I was <laughs> testing you is what I was doing. Um and in the dragon? No. Um I am missing loads. You are. Fuck me. Um oh. Oh, time. Honey. Okay, well. Two I, minutes. I had my hands on these ones. You had your hands on I had them. my hands on okay. them. Okay. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 I found. 22. Okay. You completely skipped past these two. That's because I don't like them. I haven't read them but I don't like them. So I didn't want to ruin everyone's day. They're, they're brilliant polar fantasies. Mm. Brilliant polar fantasy duology. I literally just picked the hair middle grade up as well. Yeah, you picked up a book either side <laughs> and just missed the middle entirely. These two? Yeah. But it ha it, look, it had a candle on it and I didn't want to mess this place up. Okay, all right. That was the reason. Yes. That had a candle in front of it, so I didn't want to mess the place didn't up. didn't stop you with everything else, <laughs> but sure thing, sure thing. That's because they were on a shelf you couldn't reach. So, <laughs> I, mean, I just got, said as many as you could. I could, so. I could have got loads more. We have a, a clean up job after this. You could have done. We have loads, a clean. Yeah. Loads. Okay, next. I want, I want more. Oh, you want more? You want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. Um, Until I get one wrong, which I haven't got one wrong yet. <laughs> next. Um, find me a book that you think I'm going to unhaul. Oh, I there was actually a, a couple that I thought you. Were, I mean, I know you're going to unhaul this one because you didn't enjoy it all that much. But I kind of want to go more. I want to go more. Uh, it doesn't even necessarily have to be one I've read. Yeah, because there was one I thought oh, maybe you wouldn't enjoy that I liked, I think. But I was like, I don't think you would enjoy it. I thought of it today as well. Why haven't you unhauled this one yet? I haven't read that. Oh, but it kind of gives you similar vibes to the one you hated. Given to the sea. Yeah. yeah. It, um, oh, um, I think you would also unhaul this one. Because I know Ashley really didn't like it. You know you just have to pick one, I right? <laughs> know, but uh, this is just me being extra and showing you how of an extra great friend I am. I'm going to give you your last question. Okay. Last one. Okay. Find me five five-star predictions. Oh, predictions. Five books that you think I will give five stars. 
And you already know you think you're going to give these five stars. I'm up to your predictions. Oh. <laughs> I haven't read them. I don't know. And imagine if I get all of them wrong. <laughs> Frost Heart 3. <laughs> yeah, mate, I won't go that obvious. Um, Depends how safe you want to play it. Is that it, though? I, I live life on the edge. I like <laughs> to live dangerously. If you're not right, I'm going to unsubscribe from you. <laughs> <laughs> At least you are subscribed to me now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're so rude. The cheek of it, honestly. Oh my gosh. This is hard. Is there something that I... Oh, you can go shove that watch up my bum. That's what you can do. Oh, I don't know, because you can be so hard to please. So hard to please. Um, oh, what was in the um, whole trolley? Whole trolley. Um, do you want me to pick books that I've read that I think you would give five stars? No, I just want five books that you think, gut feeling, whether you've read them or not, that you think... You will give five stars. I will give five stars. Oh, yeah, first on three. Yep. Hi, Jake. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're just filming a sex tape in here, don't mind us. <laughs> okay, first off, three. That one. House of Always. First off, three. House of Always. Um, why is this harder than I thought? Yeah, I thought it would be quite easy for you to just rattle off, like, I no. think you're going to love this, 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 and this. Well, I think you're going to love Eva Evergreen, but I don't think you're going to give five stars. I think you're going to love Pages and Cole. I think you'd like Mapper Stories. Uh, it's just the, the five, like, quick five oh, books okay. that you're going to like. Okay. Then I'll, I can do that. Pick five books that you think I'm gonna really enjoy. Nah, that's too boring. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing. I cannot win. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing the five star thing. So I picked two, haven't I? Yes. Silverborn, the fourth book in Nevermore. I really want you to give. Oh, can I pick five books I want you to give five stars? <laughs> yes, whatever. At this point, I just want you to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, The Hatmakers by Tamsin Merchant. I would love for you to give five stars. And. <laughs> Hide and Seeker by Digger Herman. I would love for JD May Reed to get five stars. I really doubt that one's going to happen, but sure. I know, you know, you, I know. Okay, so not that one. Ah. <laughs> you shouldn't have said anything. Oh, you haven't read Rumble Star yet, have you? Nope. Yeah, maybe this one actually. I do think you will really, really love this one. Cool. Uh, so that might be the five star. The other five star. Gosh, we have so much tidying up to do. Right. Right. Back to you. Being on your side. <laughs> Back to my side. Mm -hmm. Um, are we in Vegas? Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. My shelves are a mess. My library smells sweaty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Gav. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> On both parts. The At sweat least, is yours. <laughs> if anything, we just proved that I'm the best friend. The best friend ever. If anything, I think we just made a mess. If anything, yeah. We got it on camera. We so did. Thank you for participating in this Raid my shelves. You, should, you need to do this with every person who comes down. Thanks for the participation in the raid. And the raid. Yeah, it's the first one to do the raid. Woo! <laughs> I feel bad for you squatting, so we'll wrap this up. That's all um, good. My how thighs do you think he did? Yeah, how do did, you think I did? Did he do well? Do you think you could have done better raiding my shelves there? What do you think of five books? That Nobody. Five stars? Nobody is a better fan of J.D. Ray Reads than I am. Even though I'm not subscribed, I'm still a bigger fan than you. Do you think I should kick Gavin out of my house? <laughs> Let me know. But if you have enjoyed, give us a thumbs up. As I say, recommendations, etc. How you think you would have done down below. Mm -hmm. um, and I will see you in whatever next comes one. next. Bye. Bye. Best friends forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>